You'd be surprised, like things that you think are like safe, you look it up on here and you're like, oh my gosh, that's got a lot of this specific toxin in it. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. We use them every day, but how much do you know about the chemicals found in your makeup, deodorant, even lotions and soaps? ABC 15 Stephanie Hockridge going in depth for you tonight, showing you the toxins and potential health hazards found in popular skincare products. Shampoo, conditioner, shaving cream, toothpaste, face wash, toner, moisturizer, hair shine, hair spray, foundation, powder, mascara, blush, lipstick, lip gloss. And that's just the beginning of my day. Nearly 30 products, all from different manufacturers. And if you're like me, you probably have no clue what ingredients you slather on every day. Which is why Nicole Diopere is on a mission to inform and educate women and men about the lotions and potions we all use. A lot of the chemicals that we're trying to get out of the products are known carcinogens. And advocates point to scientific studies showing those chemicals decrease fertility, cause allergies, and are even linked to cancer. So how do you know what's in your products? So this is the foundation that I use. You can find out on this database from the Environmental Working Group, a nonprofit research organization that rates the toxicity of 69,000 cosmetic products. Its overall rating is five. Claiming Diopair's foundation has a high level of developmental and reproductive toxicity. I feel shocked about it. Because she says she bought it at Whole Foods and assumed it was safe. Glad that I know now because I probably will buy a different foundation. We checked the database and found Olay Tinted Moisturizer gets the high Highest toxicity rating, a 10. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Firming Cream Body Lotion also gets a 10 rating. And CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation gets a 9. The EWG claims all three products contain cancer-causing ingredients. But is all of this overhyped? Valley dermatologist Dr. Neil Patel says while it's important to be wary, it's also imperative you consider what the research actually shows. Though some studies may say in animals, they can produce certain things. Most of the time, in humans, they tend to be safe. And beyond that, he says in many cases, chemicals like phthalates, parabens, and formaldehyde serve a necessary purpose. Parabens themselves um, is a common preservative, and preservatives are important because they do keep uh, products safe. But still concerning to Diopair, the lack of FDA regulation of the cosmetics industry. If a company has an ingredient listed on their label called fragrance, that's basically like considered a trade secret and they don't have to disclose all the ingredients that are in that fragrance. She points out you're not just putting on one product with trace amounts of these chemicals, but potentially dozens throughout the day. Stephanie Hockridge, ABC 15 News. You know, still Dr. Patel says there's no solid evidence the ingredients in any of these cosmetic products are actually harmful to your health. To find out the toxicity of the products you use, just go to our website, abc15.com, and click on 15 links. And of course, we want to know what you think. If you find that your product has a high toxicity rating, um, are you going to stop using it? We want to know what you think about this. So visit our website and our Facebook page at ABC 15 and let us know.